Hello everyone, Oliver Drape here, Trading and Insurance Manager for Hydrogen North UK. What I'm going to show you today is the latest additions to our Colorview family, and these are our second generation 4K Colorview cameras. Now we do these ones in a uh, mini bullet and a larger bullet version. Now being Colorview, it means they do not have an IR illuminator, therefore they do not do the black and white images at night time. Uh, they're maintaining full color uh, with the assistance of the physical white light on the camera. Now being 4K, that means that we get these high resolution, uh, high resolution uh, uh, pictures in here, therefore uh, being able to pick up the finer bits of detail uh, within the scene. Now as mentioned, obviously they've got the physical white light on there, so they can put physical light onto the scene at night time, uh, even in a zero light environment. Um, but they are still capable of giving us a full colourful image without the white light in certain lighting scenarios, depending on which model version uh, you go for. Now, in addition to giving us the full colourful image, uh, the fact that part of our second generation range also means they have our AccuSense technology, which is that uh, deep learning uh, algorithm being able to determine what's in the scene, is it a human and or a vehicle, depending on which one we want it to uh, select. So this helps reduce our false alarms caused by other relevant objects such as uh, dogs, cats, leaves or other irrelevant objects uh, uh, triggering those line crossings or intrusion detections. We can even configure that for our motion detection um, as well. Now unlike the AccuSense cameras, these ones do not do a strobe light and audio out like our conventional AccuSense would do. When we refer to AccuSense, it means it's got the false alarm reduction technology in there. However, we can actually configure the white light on the camera to uh, come on uh, when it does detect an intrusion detection or a line crossing or whatever sort of Video content, video content analysis you, you choose to uh, apply. Uh, and also when the light is physically engaged at night time on the camera, uh, the light will simply uh, give a brighter intensity so we can see uh, that the actual camera has activated uh, when that's actually triggered the event, to therefore notify the offender that he's been caught uh, by the actual camera. So what we'll do, we'll pop up one of these boxes, take a look and see what we get inside. So we'll start with the uh, larger one here, uh, so I'm just going to pop open the uh, seal on that and we'll take a look and see what we actually get inside. So you get your drill template so you know where to actually uh, put the drill holes in there and also the uh, large hole in the back there, it's just a little sticky adhesive label on there. Get your quick start guide, little security screwdriver, pack of screws waterproof attachment for the actual uh, Cat5, Cat6 cable that you put in place and then finally we have the camera itself. So as you can see this one here, uh, it's a large bullet version, uh, it's got the slot underneath there for a micro SD card to go into there should you want to install one uh, in there and also use potentially our ANR technology. And on the front of the camera there we've got the lens and we've also got the two IR illuminators as well. So this is what portrays the physical light onto the scene in a zero uh, light environment. If we take a look at the uh, smaller one, this will be uh, relatively uh, very similar inside. So pop over the box of this one. Again, you've got your drill template, you've got your quick start guide. Then inside, security screwdriver, waterproof attachment, pack of screws and then we also have the camera itself. So on this one you can see this, part, this is a mini bullet so it's a lot smaller in size so a bit more discreet a bit more subtle. Still has facility for a micro SD card to go in there again for using that ANR technology and on the front of this one uh, again no IR illuminator on this one it's got the physical uh, white light out on here to put physical light onto the scene. This one also has a built-in microphone as well so it can record sound in the scene as well. So what we'll do, we'll get one of these uh, mounted onto a tripod and we'll see what it can do. Okay, so I've currently got this mounted uh, just on a tripod at the moment using a uh, back box. So in reality, you'll probably be putting this uh, on a wall mount or however else you want to uh, mount the camera array at different brackets uh, available. Uh, so here it is mounted on at the minute. As I mentioned, it's got the two uh, soft warm lights on there which portrays light to the scene in a zero light environment. In addition, within a color view camera, it has an f1.0 super aperture, which allows the lens to capture four times more light than a conventional aperture. Also in the back, it's got an advanced sensor as well, which is able, capable of processing uh, those images. That coupled with the fact that it's got 4K resolution, gives us more uh, details in the scene 
uh, so you'll be able to see things like they're called license plates uh, and other bits of key information seen which sometimes will be lost with the lower resolution cameras. Now as I mentioned earlier as well the white lights on there can also have a secondary function meaning they can be set to come on upon an event being triggered such as a line crossing, uh, intrusion detection, motion detection uh, and also we can configure these, these events for, to trigger only for human and or vehicles depending on whatever you configure them for. Therefore reducing the false alarms caused by other irrelevant objects like car headlights hitting a driver when the cars drive past or leaves, cats, dogs and those other objects we're not really interested in alarms. Now currently I've got this com camera configured with a simple line crossing event in there um, so when the line crossing triggers let's see what happens. So as you saw, uh, when I triggered that line crossing, the physical white lights came on uh, on the camera. So I've set that up to come on just for five seconds. You can set it to come on for a little bit longer. So the idea being is during the daytime or normal, uh, normal daytime events, if someone was to trigger that line crossing or intrusion detection, uh, the physical white light would come onto the camera, uh, hopefully uh, notifying the offender that obviously they've been caught in the act. It may even cause them to look at the camera itself to, know, to see what has actually gone on, giving us what we call the unconscious glance Therefore, we've now got some facial information of the person uh, committing the offence. If the light is actually on during the night time as well, uh, and it's always actually, actually on because obviously there's not enough light in the scene, when the event is triggered, it will cause the intensity of the bright light to come on uh, uh, brighter, uh, again, hopefully uh, notifying the offender that's been uh, caught in the act. Uh, you can set the actual brightness of the white light, or you can just set it to auto and it will automatically trigger. Likewise, the light duration, you can set it for a longer duration. Currently, I've just got this set for uh, five seconds. If you do want any information on this device, uh, go to the uh, link below. Alternatively, click on our QR code that will send you to online data sheet. Uh, later on within the year, there is a turret version coming out this so far. So currently, we've got it in the larger bullet and the mini bullet version. But keep watch out, the turret uh, 4K resolution version is coming this year. And as always, if you've got any questions on the device, uh, contact your local distributor and they'll be able to provide you information on the device as well as the prices. Thank you.